Now, again, this is an Omega tune. Omega tunes are not octane specific, right? Uh, as anybody that knows our tunes, or maybe you don't know our tune, uh, our tune uh, is very unique in the fact that the tune is not written for a specific fuel octane. In fact, the tune itself is able to adjust in real time as you're driving the vehicle, and it will continually optimize performance and power output based upon your fuel quality, your driving conditions, and how you're driving the vehicle. So uh, this is also one of the reasons why we don't typically need to data log our tunes because the point of data logging typically in an octane based tune is to see that if the fuel quality is good, if there's a little more room there, then you can make the tune a bit more aggressive. Uh, the Omega tune is going to do that by itself. So there's no need to data log to see if you're getting everything out of the tune. You're going to get everything out of the tune. So long as you use the best fuel you can, you use a good quality fuel, good octane, and you've got good driving conditions and the vehicle is mechanically sound, that's a key point as well, the tune will automatically improve performance and provide the most, most uh, power available to you. So this tune is flex fuel. We've set, I've set this tune up so that you will see maximum performance from this vehicle in as little as 30, 35% ethanol. The fact is, is that these engines don't require all of the octane that is available in E85. So once we've uh, reached the point where we've reached MBT timing or maximum brake torque, which is the timing, ignition timing that delivers peak cylinder pressures, once we've reached that point, then there is nothing to be gained by adding more octane or adding more ignition timing. In fact, you lose power at that point. So we designed the tune so that you don't have to have fully 85 in the tank to get the best performance. We also designed this tune that is gonna give you all of that performance whenever you put E85 or any sort of a blend of ethanol into the fuel. You don't need an E85 specific tune. And this is, again, talking about naturally aspirated engines. Forced induction, completely different story. We can't do flex fuel on a forced induction. So be very clear.